Yu is well known for its historic monuments, which have earned it a place in UNESCO's World Heritage Sites. The former imperial seat of government and Yu's prime attraction, the Citadel, is a great sprawling complex of temples, pavilions, moats, walls, gates, shops, museums, and galleries, featuring art and costumes from various periods of Vietnamese history. Thanks to its size, it is also delightfully peaceful, a rare commodity in Vietnam. The grounds of the Imperial City were surrounded by a wall two kilometers by two kilometers, and the walls were surrounded by a moat. The water from the moat was taken from the perfume river that flows through Hue. This structure is called the Citadel. Inside the Citadel was the Imperial City, with a perimeter of almost 2.5 kilometers. Inside the Imperial City was the Imperial Enclosure called the Purple Forbidden City in Vietnamese, a term similar to the Forbidden City in Beijing. Only the emperors, concubines, and those close enough to them were granted access to enter the Forbidden City. The punishment for trespassing was death. Today, little of the Forbidden City remains, though reconstruction efforts are in progress to maintain it as a historic tourist attraction. The Citadel was badly knocked about during fighting between the French and the Viet Minh in 1947, and again in 1968 during the Tet Offensive, when it was shelled by the Viet Cong and then bombed by the Americans. As a result, some areas are now only empty fields, bits of walls, and an explanatory plaque. Other buildings are intact, though, and a few are in sparkling condition. For the rest, while restoration has been going on for 20 years, there is still quite a long way to go. Thanks for watching this episode of VideoVoyage.tv. If you have any questions about this destination, feel free to ask in the comments section. Also, don't forget to subscribe for daily updates. See you next time.